Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Well, the word I have for us today is a simple word coming out of the great Psalm 37, verses 23 and 24. It says this, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. That's us. We're godly in Jesus Christ. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Such a simple promise for, uh, for today. The promise that the Lord will direct the steps, our steps in Christ. But not just that he directs our steps, but that he delights in our steps, in every detail of the steps that we take of our lives. I, I love that, that picture of God delighting in us. I think sometimes we think God um, is distant, uh, or maybe it's just a feeling, but a sense that, you know, if God's watching, it's sort of a generic, he's kind of generally aware. <laughs> but it takes it to a whole different level of relationship when we understand that God, the God of the universe, not only is directing our steps, but he, every detail of, of our lives, he's involved with, he cares about, he's watching, he's, he's there for us. And it says, though we stumble, which we will, we all do, will never fall. And the reason is because the Lord holds us by the hand. So he directs us, he delights in us, and he holds us, which again is such a great promise. I think of when Jeff was, our son was a little boy and just a toddler. If you're a parent, you've experienced this. Uh, but you know, he's learning to walk and you know, you set him down and you put out your hands for him to come to you and it's exciting moments, those first steps they're taking those first times, and they're just toddling, wobbling, really. I call them wobblers, you know, as they wobble towards you, and they're shaking, and, you know, they take a couple, two, three steps, and boom, down they go. And what do you do? You say, get up on your feet, no kid of mine. That's a poor excuse for trying to walk, you know. No, of course not. You know, you go over and you pick them up and you're smiling and you're encouraging them. Great, do it again. Here I am. Come come to daddy. Come to mommy. And then they go through the whole thing again. They're a big smile on their face. They're trying to, to make their way to you. And I, I feel like the Lord, you know, that's a great picture of God. We have a father in heaven. The Bible says he's a good God. He only does good things. He's a God of promise that he's going to direct us. He delights in us. But listen, when you stumble, and you will, so will I, but he's going to keep us from really falling in a way that we can't get up and continue on the path towards him because he's got us by, by the hand. Listen to the way the message says it, and then I'll pray. Stalwart, that's you. That's what God calls you. Stalwart walks in step with God. His, her path is blazed by God. They're happy. If they stumble, they're not down for long. I love that because God has a grip on their hand. So God's got you by the hand today. Hope you feel that and you can sense that and trust that today. Let me pray for us. Lord, today, we thank you that you, uh, we are in your grip. Thank you that you care about every detail of our lives. Lord, may that really sink in for us as we go through our day today. Lord, should we stumble in some way today, thank you that you will be there to pull us right back up in encouragement. Do you love it, Lord, that we're trying? You love it that we're moving your direction, however imperfectly that is at times. So thank you for your grace today. Thank you that you've surrounded us in love. Keep us in that circle of love. Provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, and our church family as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen with me. Amen and amen. Well, praying for you again today. Have a great one. Look forward to talking to you in the morning. God bless.